welcome to Gold Coast Light Rail Science Tram, where we travel Queensland's first light rail system and discover the exciting science and engineering challenges that the project team have encountered to bring the system to life. Did you know Queensland's first contemporary light rail system will transport locals and visitors along a 13 kilometre track between the Gold Coast University Hospital and Broadbeach? But how does a tram work and how safe is their brake system? For more, let's hear from field reporter Curtis. Thanks Libby. Each tram is 43 and a half metres in length and will have seven different sections in total. They will be 2.65 metres wide and three and a half metres high, weighing 60.4 tonnes. Wow, that's nearly 60 small cars. I wonder how they travel and stop. The trams are powered by electricity, which they draw from an overhead line called a catenary. The catenary draws its electricity from six substations, which will convert the network electricity to the electricity suitable for trams. So, when the trams are travelling at speed, I wonder how they stop. I caught up with Alex, engineering manager from Bombardier Transportation, to investigate how forces and friction assist with braking. Thanks Curtis. The trams can operate up to 70 km an hour and to ensure that they can stop safely at these speeds, the Flexity 2 tram is equipped with three independently operating braking systems. They are the electrodynamic brake, the hydraulic brake caliper and the electromagnetic track brake. The electrodynamic brake works through an electric motor which is connected to the axle through a gearbox. The energy from the rotating wheels is transformed into electric energy similar to a windmill, thereby slowing down the vehicle. Just like push-pull, how fast the tram stops depends on how big the braking force is compared to the rotation or turning around of the axle. The hydraulic brake caliper applies friction by pushing the caliper to a brake disc to make the wheels stop. Friction is caused by the force of the caliper on the brake disc, which is mounted onto the same axle as the tram wheels. So this braking system is similar to the disc brakes in our bikes that you and I ride or in our cars? Yes, that's right. When you squeeze your hand on the handbrake or push your foot on the foot brake, this applies friction to the wheels, which stops and slows down the car or bike. And finally, the electromagnetic brake uses magnetic forces to slow down the tram. The magnets apply force to the rail, which slows down the tram. The principle again is quite simple, because the rails are made of iron and will therefore connect to magnets. So why does the light rail need three different braking systems? The three different braking systems are a safety feature of the tram. They enable the driver to activate the different brakes in different situations. Normal service braking, emergency braking and when the tram is not in use. We also use sand to help the wheels grip onto the track. This is used in emergency or slippy situations to help the tram stop. Isn't it great to learn how science is used in everyday living? At home, why don't you go and look at the brakes on your bike? Can you see that when you press hard on the handbrake, it stops the bike quickly? What happens when you just press lightly? You slow down gradually, don't you? Thanks Alex for joining us on the Gold Coast Light Rail Science Tram. Back to you Libby. Until the next time we travel the Gold Coast Light Rail Science Tram, keep loving learning.